Right, if, if anybody insulted my children's mum, I'd be knocking on the door. I wouldn't be having a knock on the garden. There'd be none of that, let's put gloves on in a gym when I've got my mates there. There'd be none of that. So, everybody knows where I went last night. Everybody knows what happened, who needs to know. So, but it was nice to see certain people there. And I want certain people that were there to know that I respect them. I uh, respect everybody in that building last night. So, like I said, if I've got up to say, I'm going to say it on here. And I don't want people to think that... I don't want people to think, because I'm close mates with certain individuals like Dennis or Mick Whale and people like that. I don't want anybody to think that I'm just going to fly off and up. Because if I get too big for my boots when this channel starts taking off... And let me tell you this. This channel's going in a really good direction at the moment and we're not buying any views. We don't buy views, we don't buy subscribers. This channel's going in the right direction. Hard work is the way forward. But this channel's going to take off soon because we just tried something a little bit yesterday and we got, we, we got all this analysation stuff out and I said, alright then, well let's have a look. And I was showed a certain few things. And then we measured it to what we did on the other thing within one hour and all that. And I was like, oh my God, is that what I'm doing wrong? So I can't wait for, for another two weeks till we, put these, we implement these things. And I want to thank certain the people. I don't need to keep mentioning the names or the companies and that. But the people who are helping me, they know who they are. And do you know what? Bump, bump, bump. And when it does take off... The people that have helped me, I will be paranoid to and overwhelmed, but I will also be straining at the leash to repay them people. Because I can't repay the people that are helping me with this channel at the moment. Even if somebody give me a cheque for a million quid, I couldn't repay these people because they've already got that. They're at that stage in their life where they just want to go on sit down in their big houses watching their big telly and they want to see me ranting off on here and I enjoy doing this but they want to see me go up against the establishment now the establishment is Sky Sports and Matchroom they're the establishment and I'm going up against these people I've put billboards up I've done videos but I've never done snideness I never pretended to be somebody I hadn't I did it once on Twitter about six years ago, bigging Carl Froch up when he was fighting Groves. I did it once and I pretended to be Trump train and all I did was just big everything up, Carl Froch and I'm a Groves and what a prick I was to do that, P-R-I-C-K, doing that because I wanted Carl to win so much, so badly in the rematch. That I bigged him up and, and I'm not going to go into the details. And he want, I didn't want to do it, but I did it. To, I wanted to big him up. I don't know why, I just became obsessed by Frotch Groves rematch. I wanted to hammer everything Groves and big up everything Frotch. But it's all rubbish, isn't it? But if I've got all to say now, I've got a YouTube channel, haven't I? And I can see it on my YouTube channel. And I ain't got Nicola behind me going, oh, I can't put that out. Or oh, there were a couple of times when I was with Rico and he was like, oh, that's a bit close to Knuckle Porky. Can't do that. Now I can. I thought I live by the sword and die by the sword. And like I said, the only people that know what I've been in, in well, the only people that will know what I've been through are people who've been in prison for long periods. If you've been in jail and you've served, say, I don't know, listen, six months is a long time in prison. If you've served at least six months in jail and more, I mean, I did, a, I did about f just under five weeks when I was 16, and I did that 15 days when I was 43, nearly 44. Take them out that way, that, what's that, six weeks or something? Take that out from 91 October to May 2004 is 12 years, 7 months. Out of that period there, 122 months. Every time I come out of prison, I had a chip on my shoulder. I wouldn't even go to probation. So, there's a warrant out for you straight away, isn't there, if you don't get to probation for 5 o'clock. There's a warrant out, and my dad used to say, well, 
they're going to come with white coats again and take you away again. And I just couldn't get my head around it that you do your time and then you've got to go probation. What's all that about? So when I got out again, I never had to go probation because you'd go to your LDR. So I was one of them LDR plant pots, one of brain dead. Somebody said last night to me, oh, you're schizophrenic, you've been on tablets all your life. No, that is not true. But I have been on tablets all my life, there you go. But not, not all my life, but from age... Uh, I'm on fluoxetine at the moment, whatever that means, fluoxetine. I'm on these other tablets called D Victor or something for memory loss. And I'm on Subitex, that's all I'm on. That's all I'm on. Oh, and I'm on something for peeing, blood, gallstones, is it? I'm on four lots of tablets, but I suppose I've always been on something. But it, it won't, uh, I'm not schizophrenic, I don't like that. But if I've got something to say, I just want everybody to know, I'm going to say it on the channel. All right, and all these people that are trying to block me and don't want to come on my channel, well, I want you to all remember this video. These people that don't want to come on my channel and keep putting it down, eventually, when they're, when they're used and abused by Matchroom and Sky, and even when certain individuals, I'm not going to mention the names, but when certain people get sent packing from Sky or Matchroom, they'll want to come on then. And I will remember the fact that you didn't want to come on my channel. Or that your fact that you were telling the fact that you were sat in company talking about my channel, putting it down and saying things like I'm up Dennis's backside and things like that. Listen, everybody knows my relationship with Dennis. We're close mates, he's like a big brother to me. He will tell you. So I'm like a crazy little brother to him. But and I have fetched trouble to his door or to his office. Yeah, I have. He's had bell you want found to him. He's had a certain person who, who, who's high up in boxing and just, he's just in background. He's had him involved. He's had him. And yeah, I have fetched trouble to his door. But it's only because I'm fearless, isn't it? Because I'm going to say what I'm going to say. So nobody's going to stop this channel, nobody's going to stop this channel at all and no, I'm not getting brave or anything like that because I've got Mick Whale or Dennis Hobson behind me or there's other people as well who oh, well, uh, No, I'm not. But I know that them people have got my best interests at heart. All of them people have. They've all got my best interests at heart. So, like I said, we're just going to keep moving forward and I want to do well. But I'm up for working with everybody. I'm up for working. Do you know what, right? A certain person said to, said to Dennis, if he wants access to anybody, all you've got to do, Dennis, is let me know. And, I, and Dennis says, all you've got to do is ask. And I said, no, I don't think I could go to certain gyms, Dennis, and interview certain people. I don't think I could, and I don't want my child to be like that. I want to give an opinion. I don't want to be one of them people that's... Going, right, going to a gym and hanging out at the back of people. For example, how can I go to Joe Gallagher's gym and get an interview out of Joe? But I know if this certain pe person said, give him access in your gym, I know he won't be able to knock me back. But I won't want to put them in an uncomfortable, uncomfortable situation because it would be forced. And I don't want to interview somebody and be in a place where I'm not welcome. All right? I like to go to a gym, like Mick Wales gym, Peter Fury's gym, Glyn Rhodes gym, Fuki's gym, or Dennis's gym, but Fuki runs it. I like to go to them gyms and people say, how are you doing, Russ? How are you doing? How's your kids, Russ? You've got twins, haven't you? Reggie and Ruby. I say, yeah, they're all right, they're seven. How, how, are you, how are you doing? How are you doing? How's things? How's Dennis? Is everything all right? How are you doing with your channel? That's all I want. That is all I want. I'm not bothered about who drives what car or who's wearing what, what, what watch or who's, who, who's doing loads of cocaine. I used to put my head in a cocaine. You want to talk about cocaine? I used to just get a pile like that Well, how big's an ounce and I'd go like that. And before I used to do the do with it, there'd be no left of it. I'd be like three days later and I'd be like, God, I'm not even going to make out on it. 
So it would just, it were no good. I were the worst one ever at it. All I did was I had a massive habit. And I was like off my trolley. I never met her, aren't I? I, were, I just, I was a registered drug addict. Oh, I saw her, I tr took down my neck. But I'm open about what I was. But there's a lot of people in the boxing industry that are not open about what they are. And setting up Twitter accounts is not what I do, alright? Not what I do, alright? I don't need to go on Twitter and pretend that I'm something I'm not. Or go on Twitter and not be me. I was heartbroken when I got kicked off Twitter. First time, 20,000 subscribers. Second time, 2,000. Third time, 1,115. Three ones and a five. Kicked off. And we appealed on one of them on one. And then we got to 2,000 two kicked off. Nicola got me back on again. But they don't do it. They don't do it from this side here. They don't do it from my hand. So do you know what? It's not a pleased thing. My friend Terry Chappendama, he's right. It's not a ple It's not pleased, is it? So why do I need to go on it? And I'm, you, you, you're, you're interacting with people when you get in at night. Do you know when I get home at night at six o'clock? I don't want to be into. I get in, I have a shower, then I have some soup with crackers. I don't want to be eight o'clock while midnight interacting with people. Oh, I know who they say they are. Oh, people keep sending me stuff. Oh, look at this person here. He's sending it you. Is it you? And then I'll say, what did I tell you last week? I'm never going to go on Twitter again. Never going to go on again. I don't see point. I don't see point in going on. Because you don't know who you're talking to, do you? So why do I want to be doing that? The Facebook one, I, I didn't know how to work it. I'm not saying I'm dyslexic or thick or demented or all like that, but I just couldn't work all buttons on it. So I, I didn't really get it. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't know. I didn't, I, didn't know how, I didn't know how to do it. I did a thing on it uh, to promote the, he put a post out. And the, the post that I put out were a rough draft, it wasn't even done right and I paid 100 quid or something and it, it didn't even do it. I, I don't know, they took the money off me and it went on for 10 days or something and no it happens, it's, nobody were interested. So Facebook is not for me, Twitter not for me, YouTube, yeah, if, if I got kicked off YouTube, you know, you'd probably see me hanging from a rope or something, that would tip me off at edge, wouldn't it? So, cause that's... You, I put all my eggs in this basket now, there's a lot of effort, I mean look, there's a lot of people behind me now, but let me tell you this, there's also a lot of people trying the best to stop this channel. If I could show you emails, see they could be off one person, couldn't they? People could say you're paranoid and that. I can show you different accounts, people are, have got a lot of time on their hands, but it is what it is, isn't it? Enough negative talk now, it's, uh, I'm going out now, but I have got a bean on me, but I'm only drinking water, but you can't go to a, a snook hall and just be around and not get anybody else to drink, because it's rude, isn't it? But I don't think I've got a bean on me, there's any money. I've got a pig mask here. Oink, oink. If anybody wants a job and you want to work for minimum wage, and you speak English, no offence, but there's a lot of people who work here that don't speak English. You have things that you stick these on. Come on. Get in touch if you want a job. If you want a job and you want to work for minimum wage, Barnsley, Rotherham or Wakefield, get in touch and I'll put you in touch with uh, the owner of, the, of uh, this company. And you'll be sticking stuff like this on crates of Coca-Cola. Uh, I had I had a tenner in here or something. Oh, there's some in there. Oh, there's some in there. Oh. Five. Ah, there's oh, thirty quid. That should do me, shouldn't it? That should do me. I drink water. It's what it leads to, though, isn't it? Going to a pub. It's what it leads to. So. Uh, other than that, I'm alright. I've given everybody a break from weekend. The videos will be going up Sunday. I don't see point in putting this up now. 
I think that uh, people can watch the backlog for the weekend. I do apologise. Uh, so, like I said, I just want to point out, not on Twitter, and I'm not on any fake accounts on Twitter, I'm not on Facebook, uh, I've given my word to Dennis, he said, are you on it? I said, no, I'm not on it, but that's good enough for me, that's it. Because if you find out I am, I'm, I've got a lot to lose, haven't I, really? I'd rather be honest than, when I first started knocking with Mick Whale and Dennis, right? when I f Mick Whale is so is the same to Dennis. When I first met Dennis, I'll tell you a story. Sam Sheedy fought a guy who were 12 and 12 and 2. And I went to after party and, and I said, oh, well done, Dennis, on your show. I told him how many shows he'd done to... He might have been his 50th show or something like that, in Sheffield or something. Anyway, I told him, he went, how oh, do you know that? I said, I'm making my business. You know, anyway, he said, do you want a job? I went, yeah. And he went, but if you ever F-U-C-K me, you know you'll be in. I went, all right. He says, all I expect is... He says, because you will mess up at some stage. All I expect is you to be honest. And if you're honest and you tell the truth, we can repair anything unless, you know, it's something against his family or something really bad. We can, we can work it out. But as long as you tell me the truth. So we spoke last night. Have you been on Twitter and I sent? I went, no. He went, that's good enough for me. That's it. You tell the truth, you're all right. When I met Big Whale, he were exactly like that. He says, I've always got your back, but if you ever lie to me, you're done. So, they're two peas in a pod now, aren't they? And, I, and, they, and Mick's now dead longer than me, but if you're honest, you're all right, aren't you? So, that's how I, how I can be open with this. And this, obviously, is helping me move forward with channel. I'm sort of telling my story and promoting myself as well as other boxers, aren't I? And there's a lot of people that want to be behind this channel because they know where I've come from. Do you see what I mean? They know that, you know, I, I did the long periods in prison. I nearly killed a policeman and it's not something I'm proud of. People buy me drinks in my local pub for that and I don't know how to take it now but there used to be a time where, yeah, go on, then I'll have a double. But now I'm... And this is why my family don't have no to do with me, innit? It's only just now that I'm, I've started speaking to my parents and I've not spoke to them for, for a long, long time. And I've got a bit of something there, but it ain't like it want, like, it ain't like I want it to be. It's not like I am with like Mick or Den, is it? Or my, my kids or anything like that, or my, my school pals. It's still a bit, you know. But there's no doors getting slammed in my face. So I call that progress. Boxing has done that for me. Some people like Richard Towers, boxing saved them, and Anthony Tomlinson, boxing. Anthony will be the first one to tell you, he, he's, he's a bit tasty, he's a bit warm, isn't he? It, 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 him and Richard Towers, boxing saved them, didn't it? Right, well, boxing saved me as well, because obviously I was going go that wrong path. Well, I, I went that wrong path, I didn't not only went that wrong path. I ironed t-shirt and uh, wore it, ironed it and, and I tarmacked the path and, and, and so did Richard, and, do you know what I mean? But boxing saved me. But there's other people that are a bit more calculating, aren't they? I wear my heart on my sleeve. So what I see on here comes from here. Right, let me tell you this. There's no, let's set a count up, a, a, a Twitter account up and pretend to be somebody else, let's build a relationship up and let's cause trouble for a certain person. Plotting and plotting and plotting and recording people and things like that, look, this is recorded now. If I've got something to say, it's coming on here. But if anybody don't like the things I come out with on the channel, I will give you so much respect. Somebody pulled me yesterday, I'm not going to say his name, but I've got more respect for that man now than ever. I said, well, I didn't like that. I went, mean, well, all right then. But I've got more respect. Because respect is earned. But if you know somebody and they've got a similar struggle for you, if I know somebody, right, and he's been at Nick, I've got respect for him straight away if he's not, if he's not in for, you know, anything awful or, you know, bad. By that, I mean if he's not a nonce or he's not a rapist or like that. But if he's had a similar struggle to me and he's done jail, 
already straight away I've got respect for him. And when and same as that by me and Peter Fury get on. Peter Fury with double cat A. He's one of only nine people in history in the country that have got, been released as a double cat A. The other one is Michael McAvoy, the Brinks Matt Bullion, and that's Peter's close friend. They were on the same wing, weren't they? They're like that. People who've been in prison can visualise, is it visualised? Because they can understand what somebody else's struggle is when they've been in prison. So I respect that, and boxing can save people's lives like that. All right, boxing can, boxing saved my life, because I didn't know where I would go until I met Dennis. All I want was a gobby guy on BoxingScene.com as Doncaster Boxing. I used to go on there and big up Carl Froch and hammer. I used to, I didn't hammer Eddie Hearn in them days. I used to hammer Frank Warren. I invented the name Old Fish Eyes. Ask anybody. Ask Carl Froch. Ask Eddie Hearn. I invented the nickname Old Fish Eyes. Because they all used to call him Old Blue Eyes, didn't they? Because he were a Sinatra fan, eh? Old Blue Eyes. Nah, nah, Old Fish Eyes. But, as the years have gone on, I have come to understand that Frank Warren is, like Dennis says, if you break Frank Warren in half, he's boxing. And you've got to respect him. So I say, how can you respect him when he's done this move with you, or know, that move? He says, it's part of the game. He says, but I respect him. And, and he respects Frank. I don't know Frank Warren, so I can't respect him. But I respect what he's done. And he's up against it, taking Eddie Hearn on, isn't he? Eddie Hearn's got Dazone in America, Sky in England, and he's got Coogan Cassius on IFL, and BoxingScene.com, and behind the gloves, I call them the big three, he's got them hanging out at the back of him. And they have got people who want to be with them to get to Eddie. You know, like boxing, boxing with Eddie. I heard he got a letter off Matt Room and a press pass and a plane ticket to Saudi. Boxing with AD. Sporting icons. The man who we've never met and never seen. But I do listen to him every now and then and all he is is somebody that gives PR to Matt Room, isn't he? And anybody who's against Matt Room, he hammers them. Sporting icons. Hatman strikes back. Them sort of people, and boxing with Adi, and to be fair, he's in front of camera, so I respect him more than them. There's nothing worse than respecting somebody. I can't, I can't respect somebody that respects somebody that is behind the camera. If I did this channel behind the camera, how could you respect me? How could you respect me? What I'm doing on this channel is groundbreaking, and people don't get it. But slowly but surely, People are getting it, because I know from the numbers that I'm doing, and I know that people that want to get involved with the channel, and soon enough, soon enough, this channel will be turning over a profit, and I'll be happy then, because I'll feel that I've achieved something. Because when you've only achieved something that's only... only getting pats on back from people that are that are dregs of society, but you don't know at the time, do you? When you get involved in certain things, and people are saying, oh, a nice one, sorted, and all that, and sweet. Now, it's wrong. What I used to be involved with were wrong. This is right, but it's, it's not, there's no dough in it, is there? But it still feels right, and I'm laying the foundations for the future now. People should get behind me, channel. You should press that red button, I said, you know what, I'm going to back this kid here. Because he's going up against the establishment, and I'm going up against people involved in the establishment. I'm going up against other managers and other boxers who are working with these people. And all these people, they all know certain people, and I've fronted it out from beginning to end. And the trouble always comes to Dennis, and he's in the middle of it, and he can't, it ain't fair on him, is it? But you know what, he ain't let me down. He has not let me down once. He hasn't let me down once. Not once. I know he's laid a glove on me. But he doesn't mean to say that I have to put you in a picture all the time. I don't want to do. But people keep chipping away, don't they? And chipping away and chipping away. And what they want to do 
They want to get it so that Dennis says, do you know what? I'm going to wash my hands here. I mean, if you look at all them tweets that were put out, and they were hammering Tommy Frank, hammering Glyn Rhodes, but bigging up Dennis, and, and Dennis is like, have you seen this? I'm like, well, then that's not me. And he's like, all right, that's good enough for me. He says, but could you imagine if I didn't think that that wasn't you? This is what they do where they're trying to, these people are trying to turn Dennis against me and they're trying to turn other boxers against me. And do you know what? It's all on here, it's all saved. We've got it all. So if anything does happen, these people, well, you know somebody gets murdered or anything like that? Because it's getting to that stage now where somebody's going to get hurt. Well, we can then all pinpoint who the people were. Because these IP addresses, the guarded like Fort Knox, aren't they? We've spent a lot of money trying to find out who certain people are. You can't get people's IP addresses. You can get an area from where it comes from. That's all you can get. You can't go any further than that. When anything does happen that's really serious, it's a cop job, isn't it? And then, do you know what? They're in trouble then, aren't they? What are they going to get done then for? I don't know, but at the moment, anything that's said on social media is said from me on a camera, in front of a camera. It's not said sneakily, because I'm very confrontational. All right? So that's about it. That's all I've got to say. I'm going for a game of snooker now. Well, not, I don't have to be there while half five. It's quarter to five. So, but we don't talk. Take precautions. But we certainly don't talk. But we don't talk. It worked third time, I got it at asking. So that's about it, really. Shout out to South Yorkshire Packaging, you've been fantastic. Shout out to Rico, K Official, and Nicola. If you want any clothes, hoodies, and stuff we're writing on, go to K Official. Get in touch, K Official. They do Carlton Leach, you know, clothes. They did Porky Corner uh, clothes, but, you know, uh, they don't now, but I ain't got no against them. It's a long story, but good people, fantastic people. Get your clothes off K Official. Get involved with in a, uh, boxing. Save your lives. If you've got a drug habit, or you're an alcoholic, or you're unhappy with your life, start following boxing. You never know where it leads to. I mean, look at me, 10 years ago, what were I doing? I would probably hide my brains with a big sheet of foil. In fact, I what? I kept saying, yeah, when I get to Monday, I'm going to start my rattle. I'm going to go cold turkey five days. That's what I'm going to do. Because if you do five days without anything, you're done. Right? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get put to sleep in that place at Leeds. There's a place at Leeds, they put you to sleep for five days, then give you a sleeping tablet. I know that sounds strange. You go home, you take it, you wake up and that's it. Five days, 2,800 quid. Or you can do a rattle locked in a room. Now, I've done it locked in a room, right? And it's the worst feeling ever. Boxing saved me from my life of being an heroin addict. I never injected it though. So it saves your life. Now, I don't like to talk about this because it's getting to be a boring record, is it? Boxing saves lives. If you're a criminal and you're in and out of prison, it can save your life, all right? That's about it really. Put that in there. Boxing saves lives. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. Thanks for, thanks for backing the channel. Thank you very much AJ. Much appreciated. You never let me down every month. You are the man. Thank you very much. Uh, that's about it I think really. That's about it. I look like Uncle Fester, don't I? I've always got dark eyes, don't I? Do you know why that is? It's because they're all drugs I've had. And with you, uh, so, check these off. So, go for a game of snooker. My pals. Only because I can beat them all. Only because I can beat them. It's not, it's, it's just like being a boxer. You want to fight people who you know you can beat, don't you? <laughs> like Gillian White. But I wish Gillian White well. Um, for the awful 
the awful email that somebody sent me regarding Dillian White. Let me look at it like this, right? 